Hello everyone, this is Evan Abrams, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some flourishing flourish and embellished embellishments that you can use to spice up some text, titles, pictures, mustaches, and all kinds of great stuff. This is a response to someone on Twitter who asked, how do I animate flourishes? And the long answer, which takes more than 140 characters, is you have to do it by hand, and there's no cheap and easy way to make things look good. But what does fit in 140 characters is a link to this tutorial. So here's what we're making. That's pretty nice. So let's get down to it. First thing to do is to have yourself a new composition. Uh, doesn't really matter what preset, let's work in uh, 25 frames per second, uh, let's have it start at 5 seconds, we're going to trim this down, but uh, the first thing you really need to do is get a picture of some flourishes. So, uh, you know, you can do this by opening up your browser, or flourishes, maybe that'll come up with something, ooh, look at these, these are some nice tribal tattoo-like things. Maybe that's what the person wanted to make. There's a lot of a lot of lower back tattoos to superimpose on actresses who didn't want to do it live. Well, something to be said for that. However, downloading things off of uh, the internet there for your own personal use is considered stealing, so I recommend that you make it with your bare hands. Um, a couple ways to make things uh, with your bare hands. You could draw this on a piece of paper and scan it. You could draw it in Photoshop or Illustrator. Um, you could probably draw it in here using the pen tools. Um, but I'm pretty lazy, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the text tool to make some cool stuff. Um, and you're probably thinking, Evan, text is lame. And to you I say, shut up. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in an X. Uh, I think it's a capital X is what we're looking at here, maybe. And then uh, we're going to use a font called Bodoni Ornaments. Bodoni, 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 Bodoni Ornaments, which creates these interesting uh, kind of weird looking things, you know. They're all kind of funny looking. But the one we're interested in, I guess, to start is this one. Because it's, you know, a fairly standard looking wooshy thing. Uh, rotate it sideways there, 90 degrees. Um, and just scale it up a little bit, just in case. You know. And we can use the align panel here to center it. So, Bodoni ornaments as well. There's another font, Type Embellishments 1, happen to have. Um, and, you know, the windings and webdings have some interesting things too, but I know there's other free fonts out there where you can have these uh, vectorized graphics. But this is the one we'll use. We'll start here, and uh, the process is going to be pretty much the same for all of them, so stay with me. Now that you've got it out here, the first thing to do is to put a mask around it. It doesn't really matter where you start, so just get clicking, get putting some mask points down. Don't be too close to the line. So this is where some of that manual labor is going to come in. Realistically there is no easy solution to making things look good. Practice, 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 I guess. That's how you get to Carnegie Hall. I don't know what the Carnegie Hall of motion graphics is. Whenever I'm cycling through my uh, pen tools I'm hitting the G button. Uh, G obviously is for use uh, with pen tools because you know g, g pen peng peng I don't really know anyway so you've outlined the whole thing here basically you have to choose whether you want it to animate on you know right to left from thin side to thick dot or from the dot outwards let's do it from this side in meaning we have to work backwards because uh, we have it all on now. Set your playhead to somewhere in the middle, maybe like two seconds. Now you want to make sure, hit M to make sure that you bring up your mask path, and then hit the stopwatch, and we're going to start making keyframes. Page up will move you back a frame, so whenever you want to move back a frame, page up, move forward a frame, is page down. 
And without further ado, let's get to the tedious part of moving these points. So we've moved back one. So this is a frame before it's all on. And a frame before it's all on, I would like a fair bit of it to be cut off. And you want to make sure that you're not cutting too much at one time. Um, be sparing in your uh, in your work. Take your time. Just make sure that it's moving kind of at an even pace, and always make sure that you are uh, paging up between each one. And if you think it's going too fast, you can always move. Uh, you can always move back and. Uh, insert another point just like that just take it one at a time don't rush you know put on your headphones uh, hopefully you have some good quality headphones uh, most people who work in computers do and you know delight in uh, your favorite podcast perhaps or an audiobook a podcast I'm listening to presently uh, I listen to the Joe Rogan experience he has a lot to say about being a stoned comedian but he also has a lot to say about social media and about the world in general and some big stoned ideas that he comes up with. He's, he's a very interesting dude. And he has cool guests on from, uh, from the L.A. comedy scene. If you're more of a New York comedy scene person, hey, good for you. I'm sure that all of your friends think you're ironic and hilarious. No, it's a good, it's a good program. Uh, you'll learn some... Some interesting factoids. It reminds me of just sitting around and shooting the crap with my buddies uh, back when I was in university. So, if that's an experience that you enjoyed once, uh, you know, you'll probably enjoy that podcast. And uh, if it's not, then uh, you probably don't go to uh, the same kind of parties that I do. And so we probably uh, won't run into each other. Out and about. The other podcast that uh, I listen to is the Judge John Hodgman podcast. It's pretty good. Basically, the format is that a couple of people bring their petty domestic squabbles before Judge John Hodgman, and then he makes fun of them and uh, delivers a ruling about uh, which one is most petty. It's kind of like if Judge Judy uh, had a real thing for literacy and use of grammar. Uh, that would basically be that program. Check those out. Those are fun. Um, other things to do while you're uh, while you're doing this procedure. Uh, listen to an audiobook. Really get into a concept album is another good idea. I recommend, as concept albums go, uh, you check out uh, anything by the Beastie Boys. Uh, they're great. A lot of people criticize their simple rhyme structure. Well. Well, it's because you're a hater. You criticize because you're a hater. Other than that, uh, I suppose since I will have sped this up, I'm going to be done now. And uh, I'll just edit my audio to fit the time. At the end, you want to leave uh, a single dot uh, left. You want to leave a dot so that you have a point of reference. So you've got all of your points going along. It kind of animates on like that. Whoop. Now, if you want to clean this up a little bit, you can go through and uh, hit G and smooth out all of your points, which is, you know, recommended that you do. Um, you don't have to, of course. Uh, it's totally up to you how smooth or jagged or how many times you want to double check your work. But this gives you just an extra step to go through, make sure that nothing's overlapping in an unpleasant way uh, make sure everything's tracking through and you know whoop, there you go you successfully uh, rotoscoped this flourish on um, now you want to go back to the beginning grab all your keyframes move them there uh, so that the first one is on frame one and one two go to the end here move ahead a couple of keyframes um, and uh, trim your composition to that. You want to rename your composition to be uh, 
flourish one I'll call it so that's about it for creating this flourish effect um, the next thing to do I guess would be to compose it in some way um, so what could you do with this uh, ways to uh, composite these things are uh, first off look at them as they are you want to go layer time enable time remapping uh, go to when it ends put a keyframe there on your time remapping go to the last point delete that one or remove it um, and so that you can drag this out as long as you need for it to be on Whoop. and that is a step that will help you out so now you have one of these and you can do all kinds of cool stuff with it you could embellish some titles you could embellish some text you could put mustaches on people Whoa! you could frame up a picture nicely you could do all kinds of cool stuff with it um, but that is the basics of how to animate on a flourish using your bare hands um, I recommend that you draw these yourself uh, because one drawing is cool uh, and two it adds a nice uniqueness and uh, you know everyone will have already seen that I've been using these Bodoni ornaments and they'll think that you're ripping off my steez and I guess that's about it so that about wraps it up for what you can make with uh, flourishes I mean the possibilities are really endless for you uh, but uh, you know, this is a pretty simple example. Basically, you just take the image, mask around it, and then animate it through. Uh, if you want to do it in reverse, obvious answer is to animate it in reverse. Or there are some different tricks, but I won't really get into them. This is just kind of a short tutorial about how to do these embellishment type things, how to uh, apply them. I suppose that's about it. Now, enjoy this montage of uh, mustaches growing on people. Thanks, and uh, hope you have fun with it, and uh, yeah, have a great day.